Hey YouTube, Rando here. So we picked up some new items for the Bug Out bag. Uh, most of them came from Bud K, one came from Amazon, I got a few on trade, and one was a gift. And this isn't necessarily for the Bug Out bag, but just in case you missed the video, I got this from the Fat Man. It's another Lightning OTF. Some of you may know I have the black one. This is my new favorite knife right here. Uh, I'm actually going to EDC this for a while. And here in Texas, they became legal to carry, so I'm going to start carrying it. Uh, I did find my other EDC knife, though. I'm just going to hang this one up for a little bit. Use this one. I don't want to put too much wear and tear on this one, but I'm going to use it for a few weeks at least. Uh, and then we're going to do our update review over on Texas Blades for these. Uh, these two I got on trade, in a bigger trade and I already have one of each. Uh, we actually ordered them at the same time. This is the Coglin's Fire Still. These things are cool. They're really soft. They get really hot. Uh, let off a lot of sparks and they're fairly long compared to like the USTs or something like that. Got about another inch on them. So, picked up one of these. This one we picked up at the same time but he upgraded his to the uh, to the Spork XL Titanium. I, I don't know what it was. It's the extra long titanium Spork. Uh, so he just threw this in on the trade. Pretty much I got these two for free in the trade because the trade we did was fairly even. We picked this up on Amazon. It is the Grabber All Weather Space Blanket uh, 5x7. We're going to do a review for it over on Texas Gear Reviews. We're just going to um, I'm going to do an unboxing over there and then we'll open it up and take a look at it and see what it looks like, see how it feels, see if it's going to hold up. I need to compress it anyways. I don't want to put that big box in my bug out bag. So we're going to compress it down and uh, try to get it a little bit smaller before we get it in there. Uh, also, we were doing the Bud K order, so I went ahead. They had these. They were on sale. I believe they're regularly $1.99. They had them on sale for $0.99. Cents. Uh, so I picked up like four or five of them. Uh, I think four. And then this was something I just wanted to try out. The UST Survival Towels. Uh, now I do carry the SE Compressed Towels and those work out really well. Uh, they get pretty big and they're actually only about that big around. These are about the same thickness and about, uh, about four and a half to five uh, times the diameter. So I'm thinking they'll get kind of big. I don't know. We'll just have to test them out and see what it does. Again, we'll We'll review those over on Texas Gear Reviews and we'll actually take one out and try it out like we did the compressed towels. If I like them, I'll order another pack. I think they were like, uh, I forget, I want to say right around two bucks, a buck a, a buck a piece. So uh, it's not anything I would want to go camping with and use daily. I'll use my SE compressed towels and my Coleman compressed towels for that. Uh, but it is something I would throw in the bug out bag. They're ultra light, small, uh, compact, you know, and then they, they blow up and turn into a pretty good sized item. Uh, I know I'm missing something here. Oh, I got a new uh, stand for my canteen cup that we're going to show in the video. I'm going to do a video on my entire canteen and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and show that stand over there. I got it from Bud K as well. I think it was like $6. Uh, this thing right here was a little bit expensive. It was about $60. Bucks. Uh, I've already done a video on it. I'm going to do a video on this one as well. We got the 22 cal. Uh, this is the 410 uh, 410 shotgun and 45 long cold sub caliber device so we're going to do a we'll do a little review over here of course we're not going to be able to test it like we did the 22 because uh, I can't shoot a 410 or a 45 long cold uh, in the city in the city limits uh, we'd have to go to the gun range and uh, he's kind of finicky about what he lets out on his gun range you know it has to be uh, he's not going to let a sub caliber device in a flare gun go out there and start shooting he won't even let uh black powder guys go out there and shoot he only does that on like Wednesdays or something so uh, I don't know maybe I can talk to him and get out there one day if not we'll take it to the deer lease with us and pop off a couple rounds and uh, go ahead and show it over there so like I said it wasn't too much uh, we do have quite a bit of build up on the garage cell find so we're going to be doing a video on that here real soon uh, it should be out within a few days after this one or so uh, of course, I don't know when this one will be up because I have like three or four videos ready to publish now. So this one will be a while before it gets uploaded. Uh, I actually have an update on the weather too that I did 
about three or four days ago and I just haven't put it up yet. We got a really good flood, so I got some footage of that and uh, a couple of other videos coming up. So be looking out for those. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.